All right, well, you're going to need your coat and your hat and your gloves and your hiking boots for this next segment. Now, that's because we're going to be talking about the outdoors with a naturalist from Dodge Nature Center in West St. Paul about a special program she hosts called Women in the Woods. Joining us now is Pam Lewislevich from the Dodge Nature Center. Pam, thanks for joining us. Hello. Hi, thanks. I messed thanks. up your last name, yes, didn't Yes, you I? did, but you're Gosh, not the first. dang it, I knew <laughs> it. Hey, I saw the effort. You put in the effort. Yeah, you're not the first. Okay. I'm usually like, yeah, that's me. How do you say your last name? Walesevich. Walesevich. All right, there we go. All right, Pam, well, tell us about this program. <laughs> uh, so it's a program that's for women 21 years and up. And I started the program because I had a lot of friends that were a little bit nervous about being outside. So I myself was a little nervous about mm -hmm. being outside. The first time I heard a wolf, I think I... I almost like passed out, yeah. <laughs> but um, I wanted to make women feel comfortable. And so I came up with this idea that we would do it right here at our nature center that's in the city. They would come out with a guide, me, myself, and we'd get them out there so that they'd be a little bit more comfortable the next time they decided to go out on their own. And I'm one of those people that are a little nervous you should in come. the woods, so this is good. So how long have you been doing this? So I started it about four years ago, and it's been going strong ever since. We are s sold out almost every time we run the program. Nice. So I like this that you said it starts at age 21, mm -hmm. um, but you've got on the other end of it, you've got a, a wide range of, of ladies that sounds like participants. Yes, we do. We've actually had girls from 21 to women that I think one time I had an 82 year old woman Good. out on snowshoes. Good. So everybody's invited. Tomorrow night I actually have friends from Nicaragua coming and they've never seen snow. So wow. this will be exciting. Oh, wow. Well, our, our earlier guest was uh, from Australia and she was excited to see the snow yeah. too. So I love the excitement. Bring it here. <laughs> and you grew up in Jersey, but your excitement for, I guess, the outdoors didn't start until you got here? Yeah, I was not an outdoorsy person. Um, I grew up in the city, and so when I first came to Minnesota, this was a foreign land. But we live here, and this is a community that enjoys being outside, and um, you've just got to be able to make friends with it and get comfortable out there. I think sometimes it helps to have somebody who maybe didn't grow up here remind people <laughs> of how great it is, because I think it's easy to get in the mindset of, uh, you know, grumbling about the snow or yeah. whatever mm -hmm. and, uh, versus, get, you know, really taking advantage of it. So yeah, Minnesota definitely does enjoy its outdoors. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what's happening specifically tomorrow night. So tomorrow night we're doing a program on winter. We usually do something seasonal. And um, so the women will arrive and there'll be sort of a gathering time. They're allowed to um, enjoy a glass of wine first. Then we do a little program just on some fun little tidbits uh, that People may believe are true about winter, but most likely are not. And then tomorrow night, we're actually going to put them on some snowshoes and take them out for a hike in the woods. Oh, that's fun. Do you have to sign up for this? You do need to sign up, but we are running a class tomorrow night. We're running one on Wednesday, and we're also running one the following Tuesday. Oh. So what are, what are some of the other things that people can enjoy at the, at the Dodge Nature Center? Well, at Dodge Nature Center, we've got programs for everyone preschool on up through uh, we actually go into assisted living and nursing homes um, for my program women in the woods we've actually done a variety of topics we've done topics on Halloween how um, things came about for that we've done programming on how to tap your own maple tree we've done programming on I've taught women how to build a fire so you can push that husband out of the way when you go camping next time so hopefully they're learning a little bit as well as enjoying themselves and a big question I'm sure people are also wondering at home, do you see animals while you're out on these well, hikes? Well, <laughs> sometimes, but um, we have heard owls while we've been out there. We have heard coyotes howling. Shockingly, even though we're only three miles from downtown, there is a lot of backyard wildlife there. Mm. But you'd be surprised how loud a group of 25 to 30 women can be, even when they think they're being quiet. Oh, yeah. Would, you, would I be surprised? Mm, well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> and then add a glass of wine. So, and so, now do you bring the wine or is yes, it the wine is supplied? Is supplied. Um, we're charging for the program. Uh, the wine is just a little bonus that you get uh, if you come out to enjoy it. Cool. I, I like this idea of helping sort of demystify things like the outdoors. I mean, Brittany, you were saying, yeah, like, not necessarily. I'm like, oh no. What, what's Animals. the first thing you hear from people <laughs> who, like, are participating in this? Maybe somebody who just spends zero time outdoors. Well, they seem to enjoy it. I yeah. think I've sort of um, pulled a few of my friends into a bit more comfortable zone than they had been a few years ago. Uh, you know, it's funny how many people are still nervous and think that, you know, every tick is gonna give you Lyme's disease. Sure. So hopefully when they come to the program, we're dispelling a few of those myths. And then do you take that next level then? And like after this group, you're like, all right, let's go 
up to the boundary waters. Well, do you do, you do um, something I've like not that? done that yet, but that's a great idea. I mean, if you're hunting your own food, this program's probably, you know, you're a little bit beyond this. But <laughs> if you just want to get outside with a bunch of like-minded women, feel a little bit more comfortable, maybe meet some new friends, come on out. I it, like it. Yeah, All right. Well, it's good. Thanks good for stuff. stopping by, Pam. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Nice to meet you. Uh, to learn more about the Women in the Woods series and other programs that are offered at the Dodge Nature Center, just head to our website. We'll put a link right there at minnesotalive.com.